it's hard to even think what I would be doing if I wasn't here. Um, I can't really wrap my head around that, and I know one day I'll have to, but I'm glad I don't have to yet. Being a professional soccer player, it's like probably embarrassing like how much below the poverty line we get paid um, to play. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you miss out on. Friends' weddings or family events, vacations. Anytime I just get a little flustered with whatever is going on in my life, I'm just like, wow, you get to play soccer for your job. And there's nothing cooler than that. Before this World Cup, I don't think female athletes got very much media attention. I think this World Cup really opened the media's eyes to how influential female athletes are, especially professional soccer players. A lot of people think, how cool is that? You get to play a sport as a living. That's so easy, but really, like, it's definitely a grind. More than physical, it's mental and emotional. Some of the girls on our team are in houses. These houses have like four or five bedrooms each. The newcomers, like myself and some of the others, get host families. People often assume by pro athlete, you know, you make pretty good money to live off of. On the men's side, that's probably a fair judgment. A lot of people don't know is on the women's side, especially in soccer, if we didn't have the housing set up for us, if we were paying for all this stuff out of pocket, I don't know if women can make it work. Just quickly want to say, you guys, this is my last practice. I would stay longer. I just, unfortunately, they don't have housing for me anymore. Um, but you guys, the girls, you guys are the ones who made this experience so good. I know I just met a couple of you, but um, just best of luck and I'll see you guys again. <laughs> Not everyone has that support system that you know they can rely on to get them through the season and stuff if they're not getting paid very much. So I would say that's a big, big reason why a lot of girls hang up their cleats after college. Best part of the day. On our team especially, a lot of girls just find another job in the off season, something probably not full time, but maybe part time so that they can stay committed to their workouts and regiments and all that. You can easily get worn down and easily not perform to the best of your ability. And so I just feel like a lot of people just kind of think it's so easy and carefree, but really like this is probably one of the hardest things I've had to do on a day to day basis. And it's something I love to do. So that's why I put the work in and I try so hard and I care so much, but you're playing m mostly for yourself and you can retire, you can hang up the cleats at any point, but if you love it and you want to keep playing, it's great to have this league where we can do that after college. In life, I've already given up so much for soccer. I'm sure every other girl in the league can say the same. It comes down to if you love it, it's worth it.